the formidable robots. In 2007, a figure began to appear, seemingly out of nowhere. They were selling Ortega Taco supplies. Their setup was peculiar, no table, no sign, just stacks of Ortega Taco's items laid out on a tarp. This was the kind of stuff you'd find in grocery stores, except the prices were suspiciously low. Taco shells, seasoning packets and salsa, all for next to nothing. Word spread fast, and soon people were lining up. At first, it seemed like a steal. But within days, those who bought the supplies started noticing something strange. An endless flood of emails piling up in their inboxes, all with subject lines like, Unleash your inner artist, the art of mind, and, Create for eternity. Every email was laced with messages urging recipients to embrace art and creativity. No one knew where they were coming from, and no amount of blocking or unsubscribing stopped them. Some people tried getting new emails altogether, but within hours, the messages started arriving there too. Google caught wind of the problem after an overwhelming number of complaints about these art emails bombarding Gmail users. Engineers worked overtime, setting up advanced filters and digital blockades to curb the invasion. Finally after a week, the emails stopped. But for the buyers of these cheap Ortega supplies, the worst was far from over. Days after the email flood ceased, some of the buyers began to vanish. One by one, they disappeared without a trace. The last location each of them had been seen was disturbingly consistent, a dense forest. The public grew uneasy, and speculation ran wild. Soon the news reached B&G Foods, the company behind Ortega. They quickly released a statement, distancing themselves from the alleyway operation and confirming that no one associated with the brand was selling taco supplies on the streets. As fear grew, a police investigation followed, unraveling a sinister truth behind the mysterious figure. The seller was a woman who went by the name of Shetro, and she wasn't there just to make a profit. She had a darker motive, a recruitment drive for a cult obsessed with the purity of art. The emails, investigators learned, contained links to videos that did more than just preach about art, they brainwashed viewers. Hypnotic visuals and strange audio sequences embedded in the videos rewired viewers' minds, feeding them messages about transcending through creativity and sacrificing self for the ultimate art. Ashetro had lured her buyers with cheap taco supplies only to ensnare them in her cult's grip, and the forest was where she would lead them, one by one, for artistic rituals. When authorities finally tracked her down, they found a hidden cabin deep in the forest, walls covered in disturbing murals and symbols painted in what appeared to be blood. Human remains and personal belongings of her followers were scattered around, each item arranged in bizarre, almost ritualistic patterns. Ashetro was arrested, and her cult disbanded.